Good stuff. We love good things. And that's why we're going to the UK. Now, uh, the much talked about show, which happens to be Dan Lumba performing live in the UK uh, for two, uh, two different shows actually happened. Now, the first one happened last night and it was put together by Alodia of Alodia Promotions and the CEO of Ghana Music Awards UK as well. And, you know, and uh, we've seen videos, we've seen pictures, we've seen how successful how massive the show was attended and the, the next one is happening on friday so we decided that let's speak to alodi and find out exactly uh what we're looking forward to on friday and what went down uh, last night as well and so yeah rose uh, uh, uh i saw videos <clears throat> and i wish i was in london yesterday my goodness yeah she's a pregnant woman Crazy, she took over the crazy, show. Crazy. I don't know if she's giving birth right now because she looked Mama like she was about to fall. Bell, <laughs> you know, uh, 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 Tommy was like, yeah, she looked like she was about yeah, to fall. But, but that the energy with that situation, I mean, and it looks some like, women are courageous. So. I know the whole Ghana community was there yesterday. If you Man. missed it and you're Ghanaian living in London, then I don't know if you have anything to talk about the whole year because yesterday was. Something else. Um, let, let me speak to my, my, my big brother, my boss, Alodia. Uh, good morning, if, if you can hear me. Yeah, kindly unmute, unmute, unmute your mic microphone for me so we can also hear you here. Uh -huh, is that, my boss, yes, you have seen it. <laughs> First of all, congratulations to you and the entire team, man. Last Thank night you. was massive. We're looking out for Saturday as well, uh, Friday on the 10th as well. Yeah. It was uh, KMG, you know how we do it. You've been to yeah. our show, you host uh, most of our shows, you know. And when it comes to promotion, we've been doing it for almost a decade, two mm. decades, you know. So we, we got the experience to pull a show together. It wasn't easy, trust me. It at was all. Really, it wasn't easy at all. A lot of people were saying, is Lumba coming? Is he going to come? I'm not buying my ticket. Mm. I'm not doing it. To be honest, we lost a lot of people anyway because of they wasn't sure that, that they would come. Mm. But still, the show was massive. Everybody was happy seeing Shatawali, seeing all these boys on the on the stage. The, the, I don't even know what to say. No, I've, so, I've been so uh -huh. you you should be the most happiest person in the world right now. Uh, this is something you've been championing for how many years now? Only God knows. You've uh -huh. you've you've done for the O2. You have been expecting Ghanaians to do what we are singing right now, and finally, it seems to be happening. You've seen it right in your lifetime. Chatawale mm -hmm. Medical came, they messed everywhere with beautiful show. And Lumba comes up, Chatawale, you should be the most happiest person in the world now. Well, I am. I am, KMG. I am. Because to do a show that you could see that everybody is up and the show is successful, I'm, I'm really grateful for the Ghanaians, the way they support me and the way they, they believe in me. You know, uh, at the end of the day, I don't let them down. And one thing I need to say is Alodia and West Coast, KMG, is me and my brother. It yeah. was me and, and the whole team. Yeah. You understand? You never see a tree that don't have branches. Yeah. You understand? I, my, the whole team, I have to say big up to them. I didn't do it alone. We all came together and we did it. Like the way we do the Ghana music, you know the whole team yourself. So I have to talk about them as well. The, without them, this show won't happen. So thank you to the team as well. I, I, um, I want to ask you a question, Alodia, but with where I'm seated, I can't really I can't see your face well. Uh, you said KMJ has been to almost all your events, but myself and the producer, Brenda, we are waiting for an invite from you to go to one of your events this year. So we hope to hear from you. Okay, even if we pass it through KMG. No, we, we want don't... you direct. We are we are coming to you direct. We are not passing through. Okay, okay, Once I'll we are seeing your TV, we don't have to do third party. Okay, then it's October. <laughs> October then, then for Ghana Music Awards, we'll get ready. Then. Fantastic, we are all coming. <laughs> but anyway, you know, uh, one question that somebody was asking me yesterday, and I was oh. like, oh my goodness, fantastic. We are having Alodia on today. The question was, mm -hmm. when are we f going to the biggest O2 arena? You know, we did it at the 1,008-seater uh, capacity. When are we going to the biggest, where we know David Dill has been filling that place, where we see, you know... Um, Whiskey filling that place, Rema filling that place, Bernard Boy filling it. When will we have Ghana fill it as well? Or Alodia Productions leading that particular uh, campaign? Okay. I know that question. Yesterday, most of the crowd was asking me as well. It's something that, you know, we, we started doing, doing O2 Indigo 
was about 15 years ago. You know, we've packed up that place with Castro, Samuajan, uh, Five Five. We've done, we've been doing like since, I mean, let's say 15 years ago. Yeah. And looking at what is happening right now, we can do O2 Arena, but right now, I think we need another one and a half or two years more to oh, do it. Why? why the, re so? the reason why I'm saying that, the Ghanaians come out, but they don't come out that much. And also, when Nigeria is doing their show, we get all the countries like South Africa, Jamaicans, Nigerians, Ghanaians, Zimbabwe, we got all the African countries go and support them because their music has cut across in that country. You understand? Mm. So they know the song. So as soon as they hear oh, whiskey is coming, they know the whiskey song. So they will go. Let me ask you a question. Sitting there right now, if an event is going on at a uh, national theater and you don't know the artist, you don't know the song, would you go and watch the person? Mm. Right. No, of course not. Yeah. So we need to cut across, step into their boundaries mm. for them to know our song. Then when we put in a show together, they will come. He promised did it the other day. You yeah. understand? So I was now, to ask the promise, same question with regards to Kim Promise because we, we've seen so Kim if Promise. So, if Kim Promise is doing a show right now, I bet you Kim Promise will get some of their people to come. And Kim Promise will get some of Nigerians. But what I could say right now, we need about one and a half to two years more to do that O2 okay. Arena. You don't think Kim Promise can fill O2 Arena or Black Sheriff? Now, as we speak, Black Sheriff, no. He promised can't even get more crowd than Black Sheriff in London right now. Wow. You understand? Sometimes when we talk about this, they think we hate him or we don't like our artists. We love them, but mm. I would never go there and it won't be filled up. Then people will say, oh, look at the Ghanaians. They cannot do it. We have to wait for the right time to hit that nail. Right. Yeah, so uh, uh, because of our time, uh, Friday we have the next one happening. We have two shows. We're done with one yesterday. Uh, how is the uh, next one coming out? Oh, from today we're, we're going to push. And obviously, outside London, people saw what went on. So I'm sure we'll kill that show as well, 100%. 100%. Mm. Yeah. There's one thing that you've also done, uh, which a lot of the media houses um, are, are commending, the fact that you're making bloggers, you know, also have the opportunity to come just like we want the artists to travel with them when they are going out there so they can also bring the news back home. It, you think that is something that we should continue to encourage? Yeah, you know, the, the, the thing is, yeah, we can do it. But obviously, we be, you know, we've been trying bringing bloggers and presenters yeah. all these years. And now it's happening because if, uh, if we have a meeting, I tell them this and this and this is what we need. And if any blogger in Ghana can provide that stuff, it will be easy for us to acquire the visa. You know, KMG, you know the way when yeah. we're going to MS, I talk, I said, KMG, yeah. make sure you got this, make sure if everybody can provide what I want, I will definitely get them the visa, then they all come and support what wow. we are doing. Because now, we can't do without bloggers. Yeah. 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 Alodia, congratulations on yesterday, and of course, Friday will be another banger. Thank you very much. And we are coming and in I October, though. I wish you October, you'll be here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have a fantastic day. All, 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 the, best, all the best for, uh, for Friday as well, and uh, we'll see you soon. Uh, thanks a lot for making Thank time for us this much. morning. You close very late, but you still make time for us, so we, we appreciate it of that. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Great. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> and wow. that's uh, Alodia of uh, Alodia Promotions and the CEO of Ghana Music Awards UK uh, joining us this morning. Now, the uh, Friday, we have the next show coming up. It's, it's a big show. Mm. You have all the artists that have been mentioned all performing, and last night was just amazing, and we love it. We love the things we love to see. Actually. On that note, we love the fact that you joined us from 6 a.m. all the way to 10 a.m. Uh, we have to go now, but don't tune out of Joy Prime because we have other shows coming your way. Thank you for sticking and staying with us. My name is Rosalind Feli. We're back tomorrow. I'm KMJ. Bye.